All right, I'm going to introduce you to ToonZoom, and uh, I'm going to kind of show you how the whole thing's laid out. We're going to create a scene. I'm going to show you how to get back to the default workspace, just in case things screw up and you can fix it real quick. I'm going to introduce you what a cell is, show you some tools, and how to add a color. And the objective at the end is to make a solid square that will serve in the background for the next lesson. So when you click on Tune Boom Harmony, which is this icon here, it opens up and you want to name your, your animation and create a scene. You'll see that the location right here is where it's going to be saved to. Tune Boom does not automatically save like the Google world. So you need to make sure you're always saving and you can you can see where that's saved by going to here. And what I like to do is just see this PC. You can see all the places you can save it to. Typically in this class, you're going to be saving to the shared drive. Um, and we'll get back to that in another video. So I'm going to create my scene. And it might, it might take a second. You can see to the right here, there's others that have been saved in the past. You've already saved yours, and you open it up, and you see it. That's easy for you to click on. All right, so it opens up with another. Whatever. Okay. So here we go. When you look at Tune Boom, this is the space that is your actual camera. Anything that's drawn outside. So when I draw something on the outside, here. It's an eraser. That's what I can draw. When I draw something outside here, it won't show. The undo button is important for you to know. There. Down here are cells. Uh, so these are the individual pictures that are going to be on your on your animation. So as you click through the cells, this is what shows then, this is what shows, this is what shows, this is what shows. Typical animation will be 24 frames per second. In this class, we'll be doing mostly 12 frames per second. In order to change that, you go to animation, or excuse me, scene scene settings, and you can change it here to 12 frames per second. And okay. Now you'll see it changes to here. You cannot change it here. I don't know why, but it doesn't allow you to. It only goes to scene, scene settings, and then you change it here. That's okay. All right, so here are your, here is your, uh, your cells, and this is your workspace. Now I'm just going to show you a few of the tools. Oh, I'm going to show you default workspace. So if something screws up, you're like, I don't know what happened. Let's say this clicked off. All of a sudden, I don't see my lines anymore, Mr. Palpovich. What do I do? This is annoying. You go to Windows, restore default workspace. It takes a second, but everything will go back to the way it was. You'll see how that's there now. So again, that's Windows, restore default workspace. If something screws up and you can't see everything, that's what you do. Okay, I'm going to show you a few of the tools now. The main tools you're going to be using are right here. Um, so you can do a paintbrush, and you can see here you can maximize the size of the paintbrush, right? This is smoothing, really cool. So uh, when you draw a line, I'm going to use the pencil tool for this. Where's that pencil? I draw a line, let's say I draw a circle, and that's not such a great circle. But if I turn up, I'm going to undo that. If I turn up the smoothing tool, it automatically smooths from it. Check that out. So it's a little bit better, right? And it smooths it out for me. All right, so I'm going to do that. And you'll see that when I did that, see how this green appeared? That shows me that there's something drawn on this layer, which I'll get to you about layers, and this cell. So when I click off to the next cell, not there, right? When I go on this cell, yep, it's there. You can tell that by the green. Okay, another important thing to know is that uh, you can erase something. So here's the eraser. If you didn't like that line, you can go ahead and erase part of it. So the whole thing, you can increase the eraser, right? I'm going to undo because I wanted that line. So you can do undo until you get to where you want. And then I'm going to fill. So everything in this screen right here is actually transparent, like a transparent piece of paper. Now I've just drawn, like as if I have a marker, I've just drawn a circle. Now what I can do is I can fill in that transparent piece of paper by creating a, by doing the paint bucket here. Fill it in. Now let's say there's a color that is not represented here, but I want that color back. 
I can add a color. And check it out. I select new, and I click on it. It shows me all the options. I can click here, and I can see purple. I can see green. I can see. I like this color blue. I'm going to create um, a purple color, and then I it's okay. See how it showed up there? Cool. So I can do that now if I wanted to fill that color. There we go. Again, all I do is the plus sign here. Click on it. Create a new color. See how it changes every time too. This would be more red tones here. Okay, I'm gonna do yellow. Okay, and then see how it shows up here. I can I can double click on it and call it yellow if I'd like. And this animation will say will save my colors. Purple. Okay. Okay, so now I have this, right? Look, the thing about Toon Boom, since this is just a circle drawn here, there's nothing here. So what I can do is there's this is transparent all around that, right? Which is cool because if, when this starts to move, I can do a separate background on a different layer, which I'll show you later. But then you can have it move throughout the background. They're not all tied together. But you're probably going to want a background. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to use this and delete. And so how I did this was I just put a circle around it. And I can delete it. I'll show you how to do that too. See how this is a selector tool? So all I did was put a circle around it, and it grabs everything that's on there, and then I press the delete key, not backspace, but delete. All right, so I want to fill in this as if it's a color, or as if it's a background, so I'm going to create a box around this. Now, this, whatever this is, is going to be my background. Whatever color I choose is going to be my background. So I'm going to choose this purple color again, and fill it in. Now, I can have this as a background later. Okay, let's make sure I didn't skip anything here. Tools that color, that's it. So after this, you're going to go ahead and um, make a background in a color that you want. You're going to put a box around it with this tool here, and you're going to put in uh, a color. 